Alright, what's up everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lauren and as we film in this video today, I am currently 31 weeks and one day pregnant, which just absolutely blows my mind. I don't know where the time's gone. So for anyone that's new, we are expecting our first baby in June this year. We're expecting a little baby boy. And as you can see by the title of this video, I'm doing a everything we've got for baby so far haul. And looking around, I think we've got the necessities. I'm hoping we've got the necessities. Before we get into the video, if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, press the notification bell, and it gives this video a little thumbs up. I will also put my Instagram handle down below if you'd like to follow me over on Instagram. So the purpose of doing this video is to kind of ensure for myself that we've got everything that we need for a newborn baby. I'm looking around and I'm not convinced but if I put this out there then hopefully there's some parents that will see the video and give me recommendations of anything else that we could really do with. I'm also hopeful as well that if we have got quite a bit of stuff which some first time parents maybe haven't considered then it gives them some food for thought as well so that was my idea around this video. Everything here I bought myself, apart from some items which have been gifted by friends and family. Mainly the clothing. And the clothing is what I'm going to go through first because it might be controversial, but I don't exactly buzz of watching people do baby clothing hauls. That's just me personally. As gorgeous as baby clothing is, and honestly I'm just looking at the pile there and I'm so excited to put a little boy in the clothing. Like, these type of videos, I want to see the practical stuff, I want to make sure, right, I've got this, that, this, that, this, that, and everything in between. Baby clothes. I'll see anything in the shop and I'll pick it up if I want to, but it's things that I maybe haven't considered that I want to get to, which, well, I, which I'm more excited to talk about in the video. So we'll get the clothing out of the way. I just want to say before we get into the clothing that I have been gifted loads and loads and loads of clothing from an old friend that I used to live next to down near Newcastle but she's given me that much stuff honestly all amazing stuff she's given me that much that it would just be too much to put into this video for one and it's actually clothing that was purchased about nine years ago so I thought if I just stick with the clothing that's currently in the shops at the moment then you get an idea of what clothing is out there because I would hate to put this clothing that was purchased nine years ago into the video for you to go oh I really like that outfit and then find that you can't get it because it is nine years old. I'll just stick with the clothing that we've either purchased ourselves or um, has been newly bought by friends and family. So first category clothing. So since a majority of the clothing here, I keep on looking down because it's the pile of clothes that we've got so sorry about that but the clothing that we've got has been gifted to us so I may not know where the items are from or how much they cost but I will probably try and find that out and put that on the screen for you so bear with me on that front but the first things are from my mum and dad which I think oh, so cute I've got these little baby girls this one says me and mummy and this one says me and daddy these are so cute. These ones I think were from Marks and Spencer. Yeah, Marks and Spencer for these ones. And the age of this is UK age three to six months. So I can't wait to put them in these, especially this one. I think that's really cute. They also got us a little Winnie the Pooh set. This is from Asda, I know that. And this was five pound. Just a two piece set. Now this item is for a newborn and I bought it from Asda and it was what we used to announce to like, social media that we were expecting. And it's this gorgeous little, what would you call it, a little romper set. I thought it was very gender neutral because obviously at the time we didn't know if, if we were having a boy or a girl at 12 weeks so well, that was perfect as a little gender neutral piece. We also have this little romper thing. Is it a romper? I don't know if it's a romper or not. This one's from Jules, and this was a little gift from a colleague who retired not so long back. I think this is a three to six. Age up to three months. 
Next we have a three piece set. This one's from Georgia Asda as well. And it's just these little, I don't know what, what baby clothing is. I don't know if it's the best. The baby go, a sleep suit. I think this is a sleep suit. This comes in a pack of three. We have these lovely animal print. We've got another animal print. And we've got a green one which says, best friends come in all shapes and sizes. Well, of course they do. And these are cute. They've got the integrated mittens. This age is four, zero to three months. And that was from George. Let us start. Now, I love this set. I really love this set because Darren and I are huge Marvel fans or MCU fans. We like a bit of the Avengers. And this size is for six to nine months from Georgia Asda. It says, eat, sleep, save the world, repeat. And it has the Avengers on the front. It's going to be a huge Marvel fan, this kid of ours, I can tell you that. Got the matching bottoms. This is a pyjama set. I can't quite guarantee that these are some of the shops actually. These ones might not actually be in George anymore. I will try and link them if they are. Yeah, and there's just the matching top. Now this outfit is from my mum and dad as well. I'm so excited to put them in this outfit. It's for age six to nine and it's probably fitting because by that point it'll be winter. Come on, how cute is that? I would wear that. I've got a pair of jeans as well, six to nine months. Where are these from? I'm not sure where they're from. If I can find out, I will. They're from Georgia Asda. Some little turn ups. And this one has some little buttons on the top. I just love that so much. Can't wait to put them in that in the winter months. So this next outfit here you'd have seen in a video already and this is what I wanted to use to kind of announce to Darren that we were expecting our first baby let's say the news did shock him <laughs> so I knew if we were to have a child that I would have liked to have announced it in some kind of way that he would really appreciate and the only way I could think of doing that was to um announce it with a little Liverpool strip. Darren's a huge Liverpool fan. This is age three to six months, I believe. And I've got it personalised with Sims 2 because I did get him the strip as well with Sims 1 on the back. So I thought it nice to do a little Sims 2. God, I can't remember how much that was. Maybe £40? If I can remember, I'll pop it on the screen. But that was just from, I think it was JJ Sports, or one of the sports shops anyway. But yeah, first little kit. So these pieces here were gifted by a family friend. This is age six to nine month and from Georgia Asda. This one's 2.25. This little t-shirt which says, spending time with my crew, mummy and daddy, which I mean, we are the crew. And the second one that she gifted us was this little, Lion King set, how freaking cute is that? That's another, oh, that one's three to six months. That one's from George as well. God, look at that, that's so cute. <laughs> Got a little hat as well. This one, oh, I don't have the price on that one, but if I can link it, I will. So this last clothing set I actually just picked up today, it's a last minute thing, and I probably wouldn't have picked it up had Darren not smiled under his mask when seeing it. I don't know why he smiled, whether it was just because he thought Lauren had a grip or actually they're really cute. But I seen him smile and that was important. So it's a three piece set. I say three piece, it's not a three piece set. It's just a three pack set. And this is from Baby2, seven pound for these little trousers. How bloody cute are they? Look at them, man. So I got those for £7 and the matching t-shirts. Come on, that design there is, that is life. I'll get Darren a t-shirt like that. Oh, so cute. But I got these in a size three to six months. By the time he's three months, he'll still be, well, I'm hoping it'll still be quite warm. The April we're having at the moment, I would like to hope that we're having a warm 
autumn as well so that's it for the actual clothing I have got a few little other bits as well I picked up these little booties as part of the announcement as well these are from Georgia Asda God, I can't remember how much they were as well look at them they're so sweet <laughs> and my parents got some socks as well just one size first size it says and they're just a little nautical theme which I thought was pretty cute my little boats man oh. anything baby anything baby wise well, just oh, melts my heart but like I said it's not that I don't appreciate clothing or anything like that it's just because there's like just such a, an array of options of clothing that I thought if I just show you what I've got you've got an idea of what I've bought so far cloth wise or what I've been gifted so far clothes wise and then we can get on to the practical stuff there are some other bits that we've bought clothing wise we bought some vests I think the vests I get confused between vests and baby clothes but I think it's vests I've got but anyway I've got some of them to put in the hospital bag which are actually in the hospital bag now I have some hats and scratch mittens because obviously some of the baby grows or vests don't have scratch mittens attached so I bought some individual scratch mittens and obviously they need the hats to keep the heads warm as a newborn and I have bought two vests or baby grows with a bit of a theme on. One of them is a Guardians of the Galaxy theme which me and Darren are big Marvel fans and we like the Guardians of the Galaxy films. It has the awesome mix volume one tape cassette on the front and the other one is going to be his coming home outfit well it's either his coming home outfit or his like announcement that he's here outfit I'm not sure yet but either way that's going into the hospital bag so you will see it at some point okay the next category that I'll move on to is the changing category so I'm looking at the changing category right now and I'm thinking God, there must be so much more that I actually need changing wise but we'll see you'll let me know if I'm missing anything changing wise and so just to say that we haven't got a nursery sorted just yet if you follow our pregnancy journey you'll know the situation there I'll not bore you in this video so we're kind of just making do with the situation that we've got so the first thing we have is a changing mat I picked this one up because it's kind of the theme that I want to go with in the nursery when we eventually get the nursery sorted. It's just a white one with a kind of botanical look about it. I think Lidl are doing a very similar one in the baby event because I know Aldi, Aldi are doing it in the baby event. Check it out because I think the prices for their change of mats are about £4 or something like that whereas I paid a little bit more for this on Amazon so if I can find the link I will put that down below. So mat this wise I'm being very rigid here in the fact that I'm not going to be trying out different brands unless it's absolutely necessary. So our local shop is Lidl and Lidl are renowned like Aldi for the quality of nappies. So the nappies of a Loopy Loop brand. We've gone for quite a few packs of the new born size, size one. Just heard so many good things about the Loopy Loon nappies that I'm not concerned about buying loads of them. I've got an idea that I want to get a month's worth of nappies stacked up. Because obviously I don't know if I'm going to be having a C-section or not. I don't want to have to be relying on people going to the shop to get me stuff. Or get the baby stuff, sorry. So I thought if I get a month's worth of nappies in size 1 and also have a size 2 for newborn. Hopefully that will see us through for at least a month and then we can start to think about getting you for the next size up. For this individual pack it's about 79 pence. I think it's about one pound 70 odd pence for the newborn size two pack. The newborn size one there's 24 nappies in a pack and newborn size two there's 44 nappies in a pack. Like I said I am being quite rigid about that only because it's more convenient to get those nappies than it is to shop around elsewhere. The cost of, them's, cost of them is, what can I say, it's fantastic and they've got such good reviews anyway. I have no concern about using these nappies on the little one when he arrives. Nappy bags, nappy sacks, just from Morrison's, now everywhere does nappy sacks. 
I didn't even realise that Lidl did nappy sacks, so I'll probably end up getting them from Lidl going forward. Always handy to have them. I am not going to be getting a nappy pail or a nappy bin. Just from discussion with one of my friends, Emma, who I've spoken about in a previous pregnancy vlog, she says it's not worth it. You know, you're just putting it in the bin at the end of the day. I'll bear that in mind. If I do decide that actually it's probably going to be nicer if we do get a nappy bin, then I will do that. But as it stands, we're not getting a nappy bin. I'm just going to put them in the nappy bags and then put them in that outdoor bin. In terms of wipes for baby, I'm being quite rigid again. These ones here are from Lidl. These ones again are Loopy Lou and I think these are pretty much the Lidl version of the water wipes. Very similar packaging. These ones are 99.1% water. They're pretty much water wipes. I'm going to take a pack of these to the hospital. I know, or so I've heard, that midwives prefer you to clean baby's bottom with cotton wool and water. But it's at your own discretion and these are pretty much water anyway so I'm going to take a pack of these. I will take some cotton pads as well but these help get that sticky poo off there. I would rather be using that than cotton pads and water. My mum and dad also got us the Pampers version of the water wipes. These are new baby sensitive. Not sure how much these ones are but if I can find out I will link them. And we've got about four packs of them. I think it came in a bulk pack of four. Now for nappy cream or barrier cream, whatever it, you want to call it, we're just going with some Sudocreme in the first instance. Sudocreme, everyone uses it. There are obviously other brands around, but you know, it's Sudocreme, it's for nappy rash, so that is what we're going to go with. I've got a large one, which was gifted by my mum and dad, and I have bought a smaller one and a little travel size one as well, so we'll get plenty of use out of that, I am sure. <laughs> The brim. I have already packed this in anticipation of our hospital visit when the little one will arrive, hopefully not too soon. And I have also packed it because I do want to do a what's in my baby's hospital bag, so I've got that prepared already. I won't open it up, I will show you some clips of what it looks like inside. But this one is the, now I don't know how to pronounce this, Cecily? Sicily? Have a butchered that? I don't know. But this was from Amazon. It was about £25, I think. It's got pockets galore, so much space, and it's rather nice on the eye, if I do see it so myself. It also has these little pram hooks, pram clips, so you can hang it onto the pram as you're out and about. I will be doing a video on what's in my baby's hospital bag, so stay tuned for that. It's already packed, ready. So the next category I will move on to is the feeding category. I feel like I'm set feeding wise, but like I say, please tell me if I'm not. So the first thing we have are the Philips Advent bottles. And we've got two bottles, one in a size up to one month and one in a size one month and over. These are the anti-colic ones. Now I was recommended other bottles. They were a little harder to find in the UK. And I was recommended which bottles not to go for. So I kind of met in the middle and gone with these. You can see the size difference. This one goes up to four fluid ounces or 125 milliliters. This one goes up to nine fluid ounces or 260 milliliters. So tell me guys, I am planning to breastfeed if that all works out. Obviously I've got these just in case it doesn't or if it needs a little help in the interim. I've only got two bottles. Should I be getting any more bottles if I plan on breastfeeding? Please tell me because I'm just at a loss with all of this. I didn't know whether I should be getting bottles anyway if I planned on breastfeeding but just doing a little bit of research anyway feels like I should be. Will I need more bottles? Dummies, that very controversial subject, so it seems. Um, we've seen the dummies in one of my videos before. Two of them are actually in the hospital bag already, ready for them. So I have got these two here. Dummies and Tevas. The dummies themselves are from Bibs. The Tevas are from an Etsy shop, which I'll link below. Yeah, I've got four of them. He might not take the dummies. It might be recommended when he's born that he doesn't try dummies because it might confuse when breastfeeding. I'm still learning, I don't know, but I bought four just in case he does take to them and they're helpful and they help him and they help me. <laughs> and like I say, two of them are already in the hospital bag, but these two here are ready to sterilise. Muslins. 
muslins, muslins, muslins. I have, well, I thought I had quite a few muslins, but it turns out that I probably haven't got enough. So, I've got these ones here. These ones are from Aldi. It's the Lily and Dan range. I think they're quite a sustainable brand on Lily and Dan. These ones are priced at $8.99, but I did get them for $6.99. I had a little bit of a discount on, and these ones have a little koala pattern on them. And you get eight muslin cloths in a set. I got two sets of the Lily and Dan. This one, which was a koala one, and another one, which was more of like a space theme. I picked up three small ones from Boots. I picked up three from George by Asda, they were three seventy-five. I have got loads of other muslins all around the house at the moment. I just didn't want to bombard you with all these muslins. I thought I had plenty of muslins, turns out I might need a few more so I am going to have to get on that. What would you recommend is a maximum amount of muslins? I know there's probably not a maximum amount of muslins but like how many should I be aiming for because I think I've calculated about 30 muslins at the moment and I'm not convinced that that's enough anymore. <laughs> For sterilising, I've been highly recommended the Milton brand. Got the tablets for the steriliser and I've got some sterilising fluid so that'll be for you know cleaning down the, the surfaces. It's for bottles, cleaning down surfaces and you know breast pump, but everything like that. It's for home hygiene, so plenty of that and I've got the tablets as well. We have a nursing pillow, it's only a small nursing pillow, but when I'm sitting in bed, I'm hopeful that that'll be quite a nice size nurse with. This was just from Little. I don't think they have them in Little anymore. It's usually part of the middle of the Little aisle, but they will come out every now and again. I just got this one in a white and black pinstriped design. Feel comfortable that that'll be sufficient for nursing with. So as I said, I am planning on breastfeeding, but we don't know the situation when he's first born, whether he's going to take the breastfeeding or not, whether I'm going to manage breastfeeding. Initially I have bought some Aptamil formula, pre-made formula, just going to knock it up in the bottle at hospital should I need to. Hopefully it won't be the case, but I did buy four of them just in case he doesn't take to breastfeeding straight away or if he doesn't latch or anything like that. At least I know I've got some formula ready for them. The steriliser that we're going to be using is the Tommy Tippy cold water or microwave steriliser. Now, I don't know what it was, right, but I went to Argos and, well, I'd looked on the Argos website and this here was $12.99 on the Argos website. There was plenty in stock, so I didn't bother buying click and collect straight away. I thought I would just wait until the next day when I was actually in town. Got to town, went to place the order because obviously we can't go into store at the moment. Placed the order and it went up to 19.99, which that baffled us. But I thought, well, we need one anyway. It's still the cheapest around, so I picked it up for 19.99. Went to Aldi the same day and seen that the, this same thing was 6.99 in Aldi. Or was it even 5.99? It might have been 5.99. So, um, hello. <laughs> Obviously picked it up in Aldi for $5.99 and the August one has gone back. Yeah, and the Edwan says that these are brilliant. There's no need for a full-on sterilizing machine. These will do the trick. So fits in my microwave, I think. I'm saying it fits in my microwave. I haven't even tested it in my microwave yet, but I think it'll do. And if not, it's a cold water sterilizer anyway. So that's what we went with. Last but not least part of feeding is a bottle brush. Why couldn't I think of what that was then? I'm thinking, is it a toilet brush? No, it's a bottle brush. So for cleaning bottles, it's got the large end, some sponges for the actual bottle, and then it's got the end for the tea. This is just from Poundland for a pound. Okay, so the sleeping category. Now the sleeping category I'm looking at and I'm thinking, you definitely need more in terms of sleeping. Might be wrong. You're gonna tell me. But yeah, just looking at this little pile. And sleeping is a big thing, so I have been told, so. <laughs> a bit concerned here. But I'll show you, and if you can let me know if there's anything else we need, that would be absolutely ideal. So the first thing in the sleeping category that we have are some swaddles. I've already got one of these in this hospital bag. This is for size up to three months. Now, I'm not entirely sure how old babies get swaddled up until. So I thought if I went with newborn and up to six months, that probably covers the most important period of sleeping. I'm not sure, but obviously we can pick up some more swaddles later on. In the interim, I bought a pack three newborn. This is from a brand, Rylu Baby, which I picked up off Amazon. 
the three to six month one is the Lecky Baby, again from Amazon. These ones are the Velcro ones, so you slot them in to the little swaddle bag and then you Velcro over the arms. And I think that's gonna be easier than trying to swaddle with a muslin cloth, so that's why I went for these ones. You'll have seen in a previous vlog that we have a Baby Elegance Night Night Cot or Crib, Next to Me Crib, something like that, which I will show in this video. But we needed some jersey sheets with it, which these actually came free with the crib that we got from Smiths. So we've got two jersey fitted sheets and we'll probably purchase some more because obviously two isn't going to be enough. I'll want to get some mattress protectors as well, you know, for any accidents. But yeah, I've got two in the first instance. Just a plain white one and one with little stars on, which match the Night Night crib. As I said, we're using the Baby Elegance Night Night crib. We obviously haven't got a nursery set up just yet, so we don't have a cot or anything like that. But I am an understanding that babies don't actually use a nursery in the first six months of their, their life. So he is going to be staying in our bedroom and we are using that particular cot to keep an eye on him. This next item I'm really excited to use because I think it just looks really sleek. It sounds nice when I've tried it and yeah, um, it's not a lot I can say about it other than it is a nightlight. Yeah, this one's from the brand Mango Tree and what I liked about this is I really quite fancied like the, is it the you and the sheep nightlight slash white noise machine. However, the theme in his nursery that I want to go with doesn't include sheep and it doesn't include clouds so I was struggling to find a nightlight slash white noise machine that would kind of fit this nursery but I saw this one and it's fairly generic what I have noticed about it is that it does kind of look like a penguin which it probably is meant to be a penguin shape but unless you are like dead certain that could be absolutely anything so I thought that would be quite neutral in the theme of the nursery that I'm going for it's just grey you turn it on at the bottom that's nice and you just press this front to turn them off and you've got different options to change the white noise as well but it's from Amazon and I will link it below in terms of baby monitoring Darren's sister gifted us a baby monitor that they had for their baby it was now free so it's about three years old this now I've tried it it seems to work fine I don't know much about baby monitors I didn't want to be spending loads of money on a baby monitor for it to do XYZ and still not do what I needed it to do you know <laughs> so we're thankful that we have been gifted this because it's just one thing I don't need to worry about or look into for the Motorola watch than dream digital video baby monitor. I have bought two comforters for baby simps so far. The first one is in his changing bag ready for hospital. It's quite a small dainty one. You'll see it, I'll put a picture. But the second one I picked up how cute is that man? This one's from George at Asda it was five pound gorgeous colour blue and they had a pink one as well for girls obviously I've also been told to get plenty of comforters as well because I don't want to be in a situation where baby is attached to one comforter and then that comforter either gets you know, destroyed or goes missing. So I've been told to get plenty of comforters for them to chop and change between so they don't get too attached. Finally, in the sleeping category, we have this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous blanket. How right is that for summer? That is so gorgeous. It's from Next. This was also gifted by a colleague who retired recently, which I just thought was a really sweet gift. Beautiful colours, can be used for both boys and girls. Obviously I don't know how much that was as it was a gift, but it was from Next and it's one blanket down because blankets just wasn't something that I had considered and it's dawned on me that I haven't got any cellular blankets so I do need to try and find some cellular blankets before baby's born. As I know cellular blankets are quite breathable and especially at summertime it's going to be quite hot I would anticipate. So we do need some cellular blankets just to keep the heat down and keep them comfortable. The next category we are moving on to is the bathing category. Now this is just a category that I didn't even consider for newborns and don't know why because obviously they're going to need to get washed but I have got some bits now so rest assured he is going to get a wash don't worry about that. The first thing I picked up for the bathing category is the Tommy Tippy healthcare kit. Everyone's got this $9.99 from Smiths but you can pick it up at any kind of drugstore or you know baby store anything like that. This has all the essential cleaner bits, scissors, 
toenail clippers, brush, it's got a little thermometer in, it's got a nose extractor, don't know what that's called, nasal aspirator. Yeah, it's got everything in and we'll get plenty of use out of that, I'm sure. I didn't know you needed something like this. I didn't realise. I mean, I know obviously babies need to have their scratch mittens. <laughs> it just totally surpassed me that they would need to have their nails clipped. I am going into this blind, guys. This is my first child. I haven't got a clue. But yeah, pick that up. Tommy took the healthcare kit. Now, as I said before, when going to the hospital and changing the snappy, cleaning this bum, the midwives do recommend you take some cotton balls or cotton pads. So I've just picked these ones up from Lidl. 140 in the pack, they'll last for a long time. I'm not going to be using too many of these because, like I say, I have got plenty of wipes, but if the midwives really want me to use cotton pads, then I'll use cotton pads if I need to. I also have some Q-tips. These ones are just your regular Q-tips. I do know you can get baby Q-tips from Lidl as well or anywhere but little I did save them today as I was out shopping so I might pick up them ones because they are a bit more safety aware they're a different shape to make sure that they don't go right down the ear but in the meantime I've got them 40 odd pence and again I'm sure these were about 40 odd pence as well both from little now these items it's <laughs> It's really because Lidl is so convenient for us to get to out of all the shops around where I live. So it might seem that I am being rigid. I am being rigid in some respects, but with the likes of like Baby Wash, it's really more for convenience. These ones, I will have to try out to make sure that they are, you know, suitable for Baby Boy. I've not heard anything bad about these, so hopefully they're gonna be fine to use on the skin but I've only bought one of each so far just to make sure, you know, just in case they don't work out. And I also picked up from Boots some shampoo. So again, it's just one of those trial and error things. I'm gonna test this out and make sure that it's not gonna to be too harmful on the skin. It shouldn't be because it's all baby brands, but I've only picked up one of each of them just to be on the safe side. I was gonna say that's it for the bathing items, but actually, Dan's sister has bought us a, a snuggle bath. I haven't got it yet, I will insert a picture of what the snuggle bath looks like, you'll all have heard of the snuggle bath. But we don't have a bath in our house, we've only got a shower so this would be quite convenient for us to be able to clean little one. And we went for the white with the grey padding in the snuggle bath and I'm so excited to get that. We are on to the second last category which is travel. So there's not much in the way of travel either, but I mean, I don't really know what you would get for traveling other than the travel system, car seat, that kind of thing. My parents did gift us this little pram toy. I've taken off the label now, so I can't quite remember off the top of my head what this brand is. Oh, hang on. Playgirl. It's a Playgirl pram toy. So that was sweet. My mum and dad also gifted us a pram carrier. So this is for any bags just to help rather than putting everything into the basket at the bottom of the pram. You can put this onto the handles. You just clip this on and you can put any amount of bags on it. This is from Munchkin and Bricker. Bricker, Brissa. Let's go with Bricker, shall we? Very handy, very handy to have. We also have a car mirror. This is from Amazon, about £3.50 or £3.99. Just a mirror to go on the back headdress and you can obviously look in the rear view mirror to see baby in the car seat so just got a cheap one Dan and sister does have a spare one should we need it we'll see how this one goes just attaches with that strap at the back the car seat we have is part of the travel system from the Ickle Bubba Stomp 33 not going to pick it up right now but I will insert some clips of it. We have the Isofix base as well which we need to install into the car. I am waiting to get the car cleaned out before I install the Isofix. I want the car just absolutely spotless before fitting anything. I don't want things getting in the way because it's just going to annoy us. So once I get the car cleaned I will put the Isofix in and then I will get the car seat tested into the, the Isofix base. The travel system that we went with is a dark grey. This is stone grey. I can't quite remember what the colour grey is, but I will link it down below. I'll probably put it on the screen as well. It also has the brown leather handlebar for the pram and kind of like bumper bracket as well. It's got a black chassis and yeah, it just looks really sleek. I'm excited to use them. The travel system itself came with the travel seat, the Isofix, the bassinet, the toddler seat and the 
change of the bag. It also came with the rain shield and the sun protectors which you put in the car and we got that from Smith's, the toy store as well. Yeah, we paid £499 for our travel system which I think for everything that we got is quite bang on. Okay, the last category we have is the miscellaneous category and I've only got two items to show you in this category but there will be so much more I'm sure you'll comment saying that I need to get for miscellaneous. First thing that I want to show you though is these baskets. So I bought these with the intention of using them in the nursery when we eventually get the nursery sorted just to throw you know comforters in or blankets something like that. They're a good size, they're from B&M, £6. But what I've actually decided is because we won't have the nursery set up for about six months. Well, I would like to hope we have the nursery set up before six months, but just in case we don't, they'll be quite handy as nappy caddies. Obviously this one doesn't, it's just a basket, but it's a large enough basket to be able to pick up and take from room to room, depending on where you're gonna be changing little one. So I think that's what I'll do, is I'll have one basket downstairs and one basket upstairs. And the last thing in the miscellaneous is some little storage containers. So these little storage containers are again from B&M. They range in different prices. This little set of two is 150. This larger one is three pound. And my intention is to use some in the drawers that we get for the nursery as little storage dividers to put clothes in or socks, hats, anything like that. I've got quite a few. I can easily get some more because I think these are quite standard within B&M. But I thought they're cheap enough just to put in. They're shallow enough as well. You can see how shallow they are. And should be able to hold the majority of the clothing that we need to fold away. I've went for a green colour because green is kind of the theme I want to go for in his nursery. So I thought green would be quite nice just to tie it all together. So that is pretty much everything that we've got for baby so far. I'm not convinced that it's everything we need. There are some bits that I still need to get. So like I said, the snuggle bath, we're waiting to get that. We're probably going to get some kind of sleepy head or snooze pod. I know there's a bit of controversy around that in the fact that you're not to leave them unattended in them. We may be getting one of those. It's definitely something I need to look into. I also want to get some kind of bouncer or rocker, but I think I'll just get that second hand because there's those decent quality ones going on the likes of Facebook Market page. Best tip ever is to check out the Facebook Market page. Honestly, there's so much stuff on there. So that's something I want to get. I am also expecting a government startup box. It's the Scottish Baby Box and it has all sorts in. It's got a changing mat in. It's got a play mat in as well. It's just got everything, all the necessities. So I am expecting to do a what's in the Scottish Baby Box video. So stick around for that as well. That'll be in a few weeks time because I won't get that until I'm around about 34 weeks, I think. 34 weeks, that's actually only in three weeks time. Quite excited about that box. We do have plenty of bibs, we've got about 8 bibs I think which can be washed from a friend who I mentioned at the beginning of this video, so plenty of bibs. We have those little hooded bath towels and we've got about 3 of those, I am expecting one more coming through in the Scottish baby box as well, so we're fine for baby towels. So yeah, I think that's it. I'm hoping that's it, it's a kind of general start up for at least the first 3 months anyway but I would really appreciate it if any parents can think of any other items that I might need or that we might need, sorry. This is all solely for the baby, nothing maternity or postpartum wise. Kind of got that covered and I will be doing a what's in my hospital bag video as well so I'll show you what I have maternity and postpartum wise. But just for baby, if there's anything else you think that I desperately need or we desperately need as a necessity or as a real convenience, then please leave it in the comments below or you can follow me over on Instagram handle down below and you can message me with some recommendations that would be hugely appreciated so that is it for today's video I hope you enjoyed if you did give it a big thumbs up and I will see you in my next video bye